How's it going everyone? Dave with Wisconsin Outlook here today. Today I wanted to show you how to sharpen your auger blades with this guy. A little whetstone. The technique that I'm about to show you is going to work with any auger blades that are flat. So like the razor hand augers or whatever, those curved blades are not going to work with this. But these flat ones, like this jiffy one, it's got a flat edge here and a flat edge here. This is going to work with that. What this is going to do is just to touch up your augers, just get it a little bit sharper. This is going to be something that you can get the nicks out of the auger blade or whatever. Just something to make aug doing your holes a little bit easier. So the first step for this is going to be taking your whetstone, getting it nice and submerged, and some water. This will all lubricate the stone for you while you're sharpening with it. You can already see the bubbles starting to bubble out of it right here. So you're going to want to let that soak for a good 10 to 15 minutes before you start using it. Next thing we're going to do is to take off the auger blade. So after you've let your whetstone soak for a little while and the bubbles have stopped coming up, you're going to take it out and put it on a towel. And you're going to put the less grit up. I got the 500 grit up. The other side is 1,000 grit. And we're going to start on the 500 grit side. So you just want to lay it flat on the stone. making sure that you keep your bevel. So now that we got the edges all nice and clean, right through the 500 grit and then the 1000 grit, there's one last step before we can play back on the auger, and that's called strupping. I have an old leather belt that I use for this, and what this does is you're going to take off the burr. So you're going to put it on here, 
and pull it away from the edge. And just press on again higher. Kind of a 45 degree angle or 90 degrees, somewhere around there. And you're just going to take off that burr. And after you do that, it should be nice and sharp. With the power auger, you don't have to get as sharp. With my hand auger, I usually get sharp enough to shave the hair off my arm, but you can just take your nail, just kind of push a little bit off of it. So nice and sharp. So, now you get to see how well of a job we did sharpening them. Now if you mess up the angle, it won't cut at all. So, as long as it cuts, then we